The second largest volcanic eruption of this century, and by far the largest eruption to affect a densely populated area, occurred at Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines on June 15, 1991. The eruption produced high-speed avalanches of hot ash and gas, giant mud flows, and a cloud of volcanic ash hundreds of miles across. The impacts of the eruption continue to this day. On July 16, 1990, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake comparable in size to the great 1906 San Francisco, California earthquake struck about 60 miles 100 kilometers northeast of Mount Pinatubo on the island of Luzon in the Philippines, shaking and squeezing the Earth's crust beneath the volcano. At Mount Pinatubo, this major earthquake caused a landslide, some local earthquakes, and a short-lived increase in steam emissions from a pre-existing geothermal area, but otherwise the volcano seemed to be continuing its 500-year-old slumber undisturbed. In March and April 1991, however, molten rock magma rising toward the surface from more than 20 miles 32 kilometers beneath Pinatubo triggered small earthquakes and caused powerful steam explosions that blasted three craters on the north flank of the volcano. Thousands of small earthquakes occurred beneath Pinatubo through April, May, and early June, and many thousand tons of noxious sulfur dioxide gas were also emitted by the volcano. From June 7 to 12, the first magma reached the surface of Mount Pinatubo. Because it had lost most of the gas contained in it on the way to the surface, like a bottle of soda pop gone flat, the magma oozed out to form a lava dome but did not cause an explosive eruption. However, on June 12, Philippine Independence Day, millions of cubic yards of gas-charged magma reached the surface and exploded in the reawakening volcano's first spectacular eruption. When even more highly gas-charged magma reached Pinatubo's surface on June 15, the volcano exploded in a cataclysmic eruption that ejected more than 1 cubic mile 5 cubic kilometers of material. The ash cloud from this climactic eruption rose 22 miles 35 kilometers into the air. At lower altitudes, the ash was blown in all directions by the intense cyclonic winds of a coincidentally occurring typhoon, and winds at higher altitudes blew the ash southwestward. A blanket of volcanic ash, sand and silt-sized grains of volcanic minerals and glass, and larger pumice lapilli, frothy pebbles blanketed the countryside. Fine ash fell as far away as the Indian Ocean, and satellites tracked the ash cloud several times around the globe. Huge avalanches of searing hot ash, gas, and pumice fragments, pyroclastic flows, roared down the flanks of Mount Pinatubo, filling once deep valleys with fresh volcanic deposits as much as 660 feet 200 meters thick. The eruption removed so much magma and rock from below the volcano that the summit collapsed to form a large volcanic depression, caldera, 1.6 miles, 2.5 kilometers, across. Much weaker but still spectacular eruptions of ash occurred occasionally through early September 1991. From July to October 1992, a lava dome was built in the new caldera as fresh magma rose from deep beneath Pinatubo.